So, before we go any further, I wanted to talk about this add-on that a lot of people have been trying to send my way. Now, normally I try very hard not to rely on tools that I don't think that everyone can afford. I know in America, 15 is a pretty good deal, but in other countries, 15 bucks can be like a week of work. And the only reason that I could afford it is because we have incredible members and patrons who donate each month in order to make this show possible, and for me to keep learning new things and sharing what I find with you guys here. So, shoutouts to them for supplying the software. So far, my verdict on the add-on is if you're serious about anime style shading, this add-on is definitely worth it because on many occasions it's gonna save you a lot of time. It's got good reviews and I think even people I know like Yuli use it for his models. So if you follow the link in the description, you'll find the UV squares add-on in the Blender market and from there you'll get a zip file. Just drag it wherever all your other Blender add-ons are. Go to edit, preferences, add-ons, install, find the zip file, accept, and make sure the checkbox next to it is active. From here, if you press N, you'll see a tab that says Square UVs. And basically all this does is give you some extra control on your UV mapping. While in the editor, when you select an area and disable the arrows, you can actually rip the vertices apart, and if you want, you can rip the faces apart too. But the main thing that matters is once you've generally unwrapped your faces for a part, instead of having to align X and align Y and follow quads, now you literally just have to press Alt E, or this button over here. It will square up every Everything selected for you automatically. I haven't really noticed any difference between the first three buttons. The results all seem to look the same, but the fourth mode is different. The fourth mode will try and make perfect squares instead of keeping the original proportions. Generally, I like to keep the original proportions if possible, but you can do what's best for you. Now, when it works, it works really well, but sometimes it doesn't. From what I can tell, it's amazing when you have clean quad topology. But on shapes that include tries, it's usually gonna glitch up. Sometimes, even with full quad topology, it gives results that I personally don't think makes sense. Like, here's how it decided to square the handle for this knife. Now you could do it this way, but I really think it should look like this instead. So, my recommendation is just press the button and see if it looks good. If it doesn't, well, you learned how to fix things the good old-fashioned way in the last video. But so far, it's amazing for full quad topology and anything cylindrical. So that's my take on the add-on. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.